looks as though he's going to faint any second, the centipede said. Oh, my goodness, the poor thing, the ladybird cried. I do believe he thinks it's him that we're wanting to eat. I offer you my life, my whole life. Take it and do with it what you will. I love you. Love you as I have never loved any living thing. And you know, you wonder what that first explorer felt that climbed over the hill and saw the Grand Canyon? Well, that's what I felt like when Edith Ellen Hyde lifted her skirt and said, Here it is. It was awe-inspiring. You always had such life as a kid, such life. <laughs> I can remember going to hospital to see you. Christ, I was nearly ten. And there you were, like a little red rat, screaming and punching and just, oh, well, just alive. <laughs> you know, I might be able to help you. You? Don't be ridiculous. What possible help could you offer me? Now, don't be too hasty. Let me explain. You see, I have this mirror. I made it for myself. From all the wicked thoughts that people think Now a mirror shows your outside But this one looks within And alters what it finds in just a blink <laughs> So good will turn to evil Generosity to greed just a glance will do it, nothing more. And the person will be different on the outside, just the same. But inside they'll be rotten to the core. <laughs> the magical mirror of malice will turn you upside down. The magical mirror of malice Will turn your smile into a frown Should you see your own reflection Then your soul will change 